Yo, what's up everyone? Today's video, I am going to showcase you guys how to play Pendulums. This is going to be an incredible video because we're going to have to deal through everything. Maxi, Winda, Makaba, all that nonsense. But it will not be enough against the best deck. That is why this is truly so beautiful. Uh, how to play Pendulums properly. So if you guys are new to Pendulums, if you guys are Duel Links players, if you don't know how Pendulums work, if you're new to them, even if you're good at them and know about them, this is a master class on how to play pendulums going second going first you already know you're winning in fact i'm playing the ftk in right now in this deck so if i'm going first i'm ftking their ass my this every hand's an ftk this hand's an ftk going first or going second so going second i want you guys to see this okay i want you guys to see this okay he's gonna do some weird plays but after all these weird ass plays he's doing uh i know for a fact that he has uh maxi in hand he has a Shadal window that he's going to set up, and he has a Makaba. Do you have any idea how many decks lose to that? Do you have any idea how many decks lose to this? Not people who who graduate from my Patreon. Not people who graduate from my Patreon, where you guys should be signing up if you want to see daily gameplay tips and tricks like this every day. So make sure to do so. But after you do that, let's do this. This is against Maxi, Makaba, Winda. Easy. Literally like a breeze. So first things first, I'm going to give you guys a massive tip right now. A massive trick right here that's going to save you guys a lot of grief moving forward when you play Pendulums. I know against this deck, as well as half the decks in this current meta, the be-all, end-all, that makes them pass if you can't OTK them. Baguska. Sometimes plan B should be plan A. And this truly is a remarkable strategy because... They play no links aside from Gravity Controller, Al Mirage, Artemis. It does nothing. And they have no out to, to it whatsoever to Baguska. So, because they have no out to Baguska, we are going to uh, try and bait all of his cards. We're going to try and bait all of his cards. And set up Baguska, Celestial Ad at the head phase, and Pengraph. We're going to try and set all this up through Maxi, Winda, Makaba. And then we're going to wait for on the following turn. We're going to out the Maca out the windows, and then main phase 2, we're going to pend FTK them in main phase 2. So this is our strategy. You don't have to do it on turn 1, you can do it on turn 3, and FTK is an FTK. In the words of the fucking GOAT, don't matter if it's by an inch or a mile, a win's a win. Dom Toretto, you can win on turn 1, you can win on turn 3, doesn't matter, a win's a win. Here, I Baguska his ass, he Makaba, I probably could have Baguska before I used Iris Effect. I actually was not expecting him to Makaba negate my double Iris. I was not expecting it, but it worked out because he had to get rid of his own Alistair to do so. So I could have actually resolved my uh, my uh, Iris by putting Magusta first in defense. That's all right, though. That's all right. That's all right. Very minor misplay. The next play misplay is a little worse. So you're going to witness it soon. So here I'm going to get some nice value here with uh, Black Fang. Free, free value. And now I should, I'm under Into the Void. Now Into the Void does not affect Pendulums as long as you're aware of it. I should have set my Duelist Alliance. And I knew that Celeste was going to add me Harmonizing. That right there cost me a whole Duelist Alliance for nothing. That cost me a Duelist Alliance for nothing. I actually didn't mind the Celestial Graveyard because I knew Black Fang was special summoned it out next turn. And this is an, another strategy that we're going to want is Black Fang. Look, Black Fang is really, really good with Electrum and Astrograph, bro. Really, really powerful. Because not going second in these scenarios, there's only one double Iris. There's only one double Iris. There's not two. There's not three. You want something else, Electrum can pop or Astrograph or Starting Venom. Or in this case, just pop itself to get a free summon. He's gonna do. He's just clicking buttons at this point. Anything he's doing is irrelevant. Anything that my guy is doing right now is completely irrelevant and absolutely doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is what we're doing. So he passes his turn. And he's trying to set up a bunch of cards. He goes. He summons out a window. This is a little unlucky because he summons out a window. I knew he had one window with a shizum, but he did it right away. So we're kind of locked into another summon. This is fine. This is totally fine. The only thing that this means is that now we're gonna set up. We're going to set up a big field, and next turn, we're going to wait one more turn with the Baguska. One more turn. We're getting free pluses from Oath. We're getting free monsters in the field, and I know his board's going to look the exact same. He can't actually enter the battle phase and attack any of my cards. So anything he's doing right now is completely irrelevant to me. I don't care. I don't care. This just sets up our following turn even greater. I know the next turn, the next, he says, look at this. Let's stop here. He has two windows, all right? He has his actual window, and he has Shadal Shizam window. He has two windows. So I'm going to try and bait out both windows by putting up a dragon pit in the scale. 
pop the Shizum to ensure he puts out his second window. Then I'm going to put my Baguski in attack position. I'm going to enter battle phase, destroy both of his windows, and destroy his Makaba. I know everything in his hand already, but throughout the game, we're paying attention. And then in main phase two, when I destroy them, I'm going to pen death to him with two starry venom and a verte. Watch closely, boys, as this is a master class. This right here, everybody, witness is going to blow your mind. He veilers. I'm like, ha, ha, ha. This is a beauty. He doesn't. This is a best of one. This is the beauty of Pen FTK. You don't know I'm playing Pen FTK. This is the best of one. You have no idea. So you veiler the first thing possible. Electrum. If you don't veiler or imperm Electrum, you don't have veiler or imperm. You get what I'm saying? So now look at this. Now that he passed the bait, now he's going to get absolutely fucking clobbered. Absolutely clobbered. So we're going to trigger Star Pengraph, add Dragon Pit, Black Fang, half the attack of this. Uh, to, just to free up the scale. I didn't even care about what it summoned. Oath, add a free card. Dragon Pit effect. Look at this. Look at this. Dragon Pit effect. Discard to pop the Shadal Shizum. All right. Now he's going to forcefully put out another Shadal of window. Right. So now he has two windows. Now he has two windows. Also, next. Look at this. He has two windows and a Macabo. Those are his interruptions this turn. No fucking problemo, dude. So next, I'm going to summon a Celestial. Also, read your cards. Read your cards. Who knew Celestial's effect with an X? Who knew that when you have an XYZ monster, Celestial's attack becomes doubled if you activate its effect? Read your cards. A lot of you guys might have not known that. So because I knew that, I could not only clear both windows, but I could also clear uh, Mikaba. And if he opts to use his Alistair, I could still ensure I out both windows. Because if I didn't use a Celestial effect, he could uh, boost one of its uh, defenses up by 1800, and I would not be able to out both windows. So, anyways, so we just out both of them here as well as the Macabo. And now, look at this. So, I don't, I, he has four cards in his hand. I know them all. We both know, I don't want him to have cards. And I don't want him to have a turn. Why, why do I want him to have an attempt or a chance to kill me? I don't want him to even have a slight sliver of a hope. So, what do I do? I summon Verte. Now, I know everything in his hand. I know everything in his hand. He has Alistair and three uh, Invo uh, Shadal cards. So, next, I just summon simply Verte. Look how patient we were. We waited four fucking turns for this. Verte effect after two starving venoms. We were so patient, it's insane. Summon out Lyralusk, and now Lyralusk's effect says, uh, <coughs> the Lyralusk effect says, uh, once per turn, do damage to your opponent equal to this card's level times 500. It's level one, right? So there's 500 damage with its own effect. Starving venoms effect says, copy one monster on the field. Copy the effect. So it steals the effect of Lyralusk in the independent Nightingale, and it's level eight. So which means eight times 500 is how much damage? 4,000. How much? Hey, I don't know if Farfa knows this. Do you guys know this? 4,000 plus 4,000 having two. How much is that? That's right. His exact life points. See you later, pal. Next thing you know, after being this patient, FTK'd his ass into absolute oblivion. GG. See you later. Penbez deck. How many decks could clear through? How many decks can clear through Maxi, Macaba, Winda, follow up? Just pendulums. Just pendulums. What's Max C? That Baguska play is also in Master Duel. Baguska is so good against the meta. That is also why against Max C, our backup is Baguska. Now, I've already showcased the deck list of this deck in a few videos. So you guys can go check those ones out on my channel. If you guys like what you see, make sure to smash the subscribe button. Make sure to smash the like button. And if you guys want to see more Pan FTK content, let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to sign up on Patreon to learn more daily gameplay videos about the Pendulum FTK as well as other stuff. And check out the website, www.tripgaming.com for all the play mats that you guys could possibly want on Pendulums. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you guys next video. Peace!